guys and welcome to another video of Gaatlo from Cape Town. This video is going to be about increased risk identified for those that are on TRT. Now the problem is many many uh, guys over 50 are actually on TRT. Now I'm 60 years old and since the age of 50, yes I've been on TRT at dose 100 milligrams a week which is a very low dose but it falls within doctor's prescribed range of TRT. Now obviously everybody knows, I hope everybody knows that low TRT is a crazy medical risk for older guys. It uh, obviously takes away all your ability to function normally on the sexual level. It uh, lets you feel drained of energy the whole time, you feel lethargic. Uh, you've got massive depressive states as a result because you don't have TRT. TRT is uh, testosterone, is the hormone that lets you feel good as a male. And you can even encounter potential heart problems and a lot of other issues because you struggle to build muscle, you struggle to lose fat and eventually that all will result in other chronic conditions that will pile up on the whole thing. So just by going on TRT, you're making sure that your testosterone levels is healthy as an older guy. It's going to literally save your life. I mean, you can live a hell of a lot longer. But long story short, a friend of mine, a little bit older than me, about two, three years older than me, he contacted me and said, Hat, I've ruptured both of my tendons of my biceps. He tore off in the same session and uh, what the hell, he ended up in hospital because there was a lot of also muscle breakdown so his kidneys also took a knock. And it's a huge setback for the guy because, you know, it's a long road for recovery. And then I start investigating with the guy, he gave me a lot of feedback because he was doing his own investigation and we came across a couple of new studies that was done, particularly the one that I'm going to put up on the screen for you. That is when TRT potentially can result in an increased risk of especially bicep tendon rupture. And I couldn't believe my eyes, you know, because everything I've read up till now, science-wise, is that the pros is just 99% and the cons is just 1%. one percent. But we have to face the facts. So I dig a bit deeper into this particular article. The studies in this article, a uh, science study, was done on 767,000 men. So there was a big study done. They were all between the ages 35 to 75. Now what the science study found, that when TRT was prescribed, and now we're talking about 100 milligrams per week, standardized TRT treatment, it caused a bicep injury tendon tear we call it BTI, that rose by more than 400% for the people that were using TRT versus the control group. So the amount of people that had the bicep tendon tear was without TRT 159 and it rose to 650 with the TRT group. 400 plus percent increase. Okay. But this needs to be looked at from the right perspective. Now you talking that without TRT, your risk is 1.5 in 7,769. With TRT, that 1.5 risk now raises to 6.5 in 7,769. So if you look at that, the grander scheme of things, it is infinitesimally small, your risk. The increase is so small, you can basically ignore it. Because your risk is not even 1%. It, that didn't rise to a 1%. It didn't rise even to a 0.1%. It rose to 0.08%. Now, now that is a crazy small risk. So guys, looking at this from a larger perspective, I'm sorry, the risk is so infinitesimally small that uh, I still say absolutely the benefits of TRT by far outweighs the negatives. And I'm definitely not going to take the risk of having low TRT and have severe depressive states, losing my muscle, putting on fat, feeling lethargic, struggling to have sex. And I'm definitely not going to go that route than just to be safer with this 0.08%. So my honest opinion as a TRT specialist, not worth the consideration. What is much more likely to happen is when you push the older body to the point of failure to regularly, then the body will break. And this is a typical kind of injury, a tendon rupture that will happen. 
So if you train wise, do not go regularly to failure with the lower body. Introduce things like superset and other ways to exhaust the muscle and stimulate it for growth. That is the way to go. Age up to 50. I reckon you can generally go quite frequently to failure without really running into serious injury time for the body. Between the ages of 50 and 60, I would say you need to start turning down because this is where you potentially can run into risks. Don't do regular uh, training to absolute failure. And above 60, guys, I honestly feel you should not really train to failure at all then uh, you should use wiser methods to stimulate the muscle for growth. Otherwise, your body's gonna break. So basically, guys, take care, be wise, read up, educate yourself, but keep on pushing the limits and making that older body looking great. I'm 60 and nothing is stopping me. I've been a coach for 20 years and if any of, of you want to join my coaching, I'll put up the link on the screen. Just going to have a look there what I offer. I had two years in a row now, international awards for my innovation as a coach for the older body. So uh, yes, let's make it happen together. Cheers everybody. Hatla from Cape Town signing off.